this section we'll see about how to use the loops in web program using the do and do and while and while in many times in real time programming real time scenario we required a certain piece of code to be executed on n number of times 5 times 10 times depending on the business requirement we required to execute a particular block a number of times in that case we use the do space n space times here the n indicates the number of times you want to perform this routine and every do statement must end with a n do statement so we use this do n do for performing a certain code at number of times in case of while and while we use this type of block till the condition is true for example if initially I have my i value equal to 0 so this loop will continue 10 times 9 times as soon as it's equal to 10 this will come out of loop and in both the case anytime if you want to exit from this loop we have to use the exit keywords and if you want to exclude a certain conditions then we can use the continue this all we'll see in this section so go to a program let's take in parameter on the selection screen here I'm taking as let's say p underscore date type side item that is system date we can also put default value on the screen if you want to put some default value we'll put as default side item 7 activate so this will give the date today's date by default on the screen let's assign a text that is current date activate this come back so first let's see how to work with do and do so here we start off selection and write end of selection in between this first I will add do let's say do 10 times always end with end do so here for what I will do every time I will print the date and I will add 1 to the current date so here let's say p underscore date equal to p underscore date plus 1 and here write slash that is a new line let's print date comma that is p underscore date we'll also write the index number how many time it is getting processed for printing the index number we can write simply psi index save check and activate so every time this will add one to the date and it will print the date and it will also print the number of time it is executed okay so let's execute so you can see the first time it is printed 198 because I have entered default as 18 second and 20 21 and every time you can see the side index that is 1 2 3 4 so with this we can do the number of times now how to explore some certain condition let's say I don't want to print if my loop is at number 5 I'm doing this 10 times but for the fifth loop I don't want to execute this I don't want to execute this piece of block okay so what I will do here let's say if psi index equals to 5 let's say continue and and if let me put this above so what this, this step will do as soon as the loop is at the fifth time instead of going writing this printing those two 
it will directly go to the next record. It will add one to this date, but as soon as it is five, the continue means it will skip the remaining part and it will jump to the next loop. Okay, so execute this. Execute. You can see here one, two, three, four, and fifth is not there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Because for fifth record, I use the keyword as continue. If you use the continue, it will skip the remaining part of that loop and it will go to the next that is number six. So in this way, you can use the continue. If you want to see detail of this, just press the cursor here and press F1 key. So you can see the help file continue. The continue statement can only be used in loops. If it is used, the current loop pass is ended immediately and the program flow is continued with the next loop steps. Okay, so in this case, in this way, we can use the continue. Now let's see how to use the exit. The exit means system will stop processing and it will come out of this loop. Okay, so I'll write one more write a statement here. Let's say after end do. Okay. Execute. If you see here, after tent, I printed after end do. Now, instead of continue, here I'm writing as exit. Okay, I'll comment this. How to comment this? Either add a star at the first position or use double quote. And whenever you want to com uh, comment a complete line, just press control and less than sign. If you press control plus less than sign, the extra will come automatically. Now, I have added exit here. This means that for the when, when the sign is only 5, this has to come out. Activate. Execute. Now you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4 only. And after the loop is executed, and it is printing after end do. Because for the fifth record, I have not printed the right statement. So in this way, we can use do and do as per business comment. Now let's see the next loop statement. That is the while and while. Here, let's say I want to print same thing till my date is less than system date. Okay, so how to write that condition? While p underscore date is less than side datum. Here we have to write end while. Just like we have to end the do with end do, we have to end the while with end while. So what this loop will do, this will Here I have to use p underscore dead self check and activate and I will write the same code here initially let me uncomment and add every time p dead plus one okay so every time this will come inside one date will be plus one it will write the date in the side index how many times it is printing and it will print till this date is equal to today's date as soon as it is less than uh, equal to greater than today's date it will come out okay and write in the same code that is the after while after and while seven activate executes now here I'm entering as 10th of August executes now you can see it is processed eight times from 11 12 13 till 18 okay till 18 it is printed and after it is come out now as soon as let's say I'm entering here as 12 let's say 19 
executes. Now you can see nothing is printed. It has directly printed the after and while syntax. Let me put here this time, let's say 15. Now you can see it is printed only three times. Okay. The remaining concept is the same. If you want to exclude, go to next step, we have to use continue. And if you want to come out, uh, come out, then we can use the exit statement. Okay. In this way, we can use the while and while and do and do. This is also the syntax learning. We'll use this concept when we start the actual programming. So in this way, we're done with this session.